Hello everyone, Michelle here from The Creative Cove and thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I wanted to do a quickie sketch tutorial on how to draw killer whales, also known as orcas. Uh, they're really, really pretty and I had a couple of people actually request uh, how to draw one of these guys. So I thought uh, I would uh, do a little video for you. So today we're going to play with our usual, their coffee dyed paper. Uh, we're going to use our white acrylic marker if you have it, or pencil crayon, a black ink marker uh, if you have them, any kind, or a ballpoint pen, whatever you've got, and a pencil. And I use coffee dyed paper. It's what I. It's kind of my go-to lately. And I've been practicing away on some different um, positions for these guys and different angles in which they're swimming. And then I had a little fun making a little pocket with the. Uh, you know, it's charming little faces. So they're they're fun to draw. They can be a bit on the challenging side because what I do with my quickie sketches is I usually break them down into shapes. And of course, there's no specific shape to these animals other than their organic looking bodies with that kind of flow to them as they're curving through the water. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a whirl. We're just gonna have some fun with it today. So grab yourself a nice cup of tea, coffee, glass of wine, whatever you're into, and a pencil. I use my uh, 0 0.7 size lead mechanical pencil, an eraser, and some paper, whatever you've got handy, scraps of paper. And we're just gonna uh, go ahead and, and draw a little sketch. And again, the challenge is uh, to capture the form and to do it in a way that's nice and loose and relaxing. We don't wanna stress ourselves out. It's about having, having some fun. So uh, I always like to fold my coffee dyed paper in half. This is a thick one. No, there's two there. So because I, most of my journals are basically this size of a standard photocopy sheet folded in half and then I, I build journal covers to go over top of them. So it saves me a lot of trimming paper and I'm lazy like that. So I don't, I don't particularly want to trim any paper. All right, so let's get started on the uh, on drawing him here. So I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. I'm gonna hope, uh, hope you can see what I'm doing. Try and keep my hand out of the way. I think maybe we will turn the light on. See if that makes things a little bit brighter, I hope. All right, so we are going to start with a kind of uh, like a, I guess, how would you describe this shape? a sweet potato <laughs> so kind of a curve at the end and narrows at the at the base and we're just going to work and feel our way out to develop these these shapes so the next thing we're going to do is give them a little bit of a nose they kind of have a bit of a a bottle shaped nose like a dolphin but much more subtle so it kind of curves around and dents in little indentation here and then curves back out and then he's got a bottom lip that comes out and then in, this is his mouth and then of course they have these real signature kind of designs to them between the black and the white and then down here we're going to give him a fin so like I said, you kind of have to just play back and forth by moving these lines where you think they're going to fit. And I make adjustments as I go as well. I put his fin too close or too far away. And I'm constantly adjusting. And then he gets a belly. And then he get, narrows out towards the end of that shape into a tail. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way. And then the back kind of dents in a bit. And again, we can make adjustments to his forehead. I think he needs a bit more of a forehead there. Then he's gonna get a dorsal fin, which is almost in the center. So if his tail's here, I'd say uh, three, almost three quarters of the way up his length of his body would be the start of his dorsal fin. And that curves back round. So you can take these videos, pause them. I hope you draw along with me pause them and make adjustments as you go. So I'm gonna increase the shape of his forehead just a little. I think it needs to be a little bit more prominent. There we go. So he's got that kind of angle out and then curves in and around to the front of his nose. Looks a little bit better. 
He'll have a back fin here that's tucked behind his belly on the other side of him. And of course they have these signature colorings between black and white. So this guy, I'm gonna give him a pattern like this. And you can do any pattern you want. And I think I'm gonna give him a pattern on his back as well. Just a patch of white. They get those really um, well-known signature white spots by their eyes. And sometimes they can have more, but I'm just gonna leave this guy white right here. I'm gonna narrow down his belly just a little bit. I'm gonna erase some lines I don't need, clean them up so they don't confuse me. And then I'm gonna finish off his tail. So his tail will go out, back in, and then the other part of his tail is tucked behind. And then I'm gonna color this all in. So I'm just gonna to switch to um, a 3B pencil just so I can color it in faster. It's a softer lead, so it doesn't take me quite as long than if I was using the mechanical pencil, but you can just keep using what you've got. I'm gonna color him in where he's, all his black would be. His fin is black. And I, remember, these are quickie sketches, so they're just about going fast and capture the form, but you can take your time. Again, making those corrections as you go. I'm gonna clean up his mouth a bit. A bit messy. So. Fill that in. Yeah, these are really beautiful animals. I've been fortunate enough to see a few pods whale watching out west at the top end of Vancouver Island. I went with my mom and my children and it's uh, fantastic to see these guys swimming along. You have no idea how huge they are until you're up close to one. They're quite intimidating. As majestic as they are, they're they can be quite intimidating to be next to. I certainly wouldn't want to be in the water with one. <laughs> I'd rather be next to a shark than a than a killer whale myself. <laughs> but the males can get huge. Their dorsal fins are massive next to the boat. All right. So I colored them in really quick. I'm gonna use my uh, my white uh, acrylic marker. And again, this is the Uniball uh, acrylic paint marker. And it's just a, basically a ballpoint with a little bit of paint inside. And it's starting to run low. So if I do run out, I might have to switch to a pencil crayon. Dig in my little stash for a pencil crayon. I like using these uh, ballpoint markers or paint markers just um, to give it even a little bit more of a sketchy texture. They just add another fun element to the to the whole thing, to the whole journal. And again, it's very loose. Just scribbling away. It's running low, that's for sure. Let's see if I can get this guy finished before I run out. And I, like I said, I like using this coffee dyed paper. I just find it really warm. It, it kind of gives the whole um, overall look a vintage vibe, which is what I'm into. But you can use stark white paper and things like that. It's completely up to you. So I got this guy swimming down. So I think I'm gonna go and use a uh, black marker here. So this is a 0 0.8 uh, technical drawing pen. I just got it at Walmart. But you, again, you can use a black ballpoint pen. You can use color, pencil crayon, whatever you want. Just keep your sketches nice and loose and relaxed and 
just keep practicing away and playing with it. You know, not every one you keep, not every one you sketch you'll keep. It's really a learning curve and teaching yourself to draw what you see, training your hand kind of thing. I have days where I can draw really well and then I have days where I can't draw to save my life. So we're all, it's all just practice. And fun, you don't, you don't wanna enjoy it. You don't wanna be stressed. You wanna just relax. Try not to put the pressure on to make it perfect. Cause that's where, that's where I think it, it starts to fall apart on us is when we pressure ourselves to make it look perfect every time. And I do the pencil underneath, just again to add that warmth, to give it that sketch vibe. I really like that look. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way, but you see I'm just keeping it really loose. I'm not, I'm not worry, overly worried about even contour lines on this one. I talk about contour lines a lot when I do my quickie sketch tutorials, but with this, we, we want to keep that organic flow of his body is more of what we're trying to capture on this one than the real fine details. So there's, there he is. So I think we've captured his form pretty good. Again, if you find his tail a little skinny or his midsection a little narrow, just go ahead and adjust it. There we go. There he is. So I thought we could do the another one where we're face where he's facing us because they have these cute little kind of smirks. I find they've got these really adorable little mouth faces, kind of like dolphins and stuff. And I really wanted to try and capture that. So for that, we're going to do basically a circle. Oops, mechanical pencil, a circle. And again, nice and loose. And we're going to square off this the top of the circle just a little bit. And bring that down and we're gonna square off the bottom a little bit. Bring that up. So on the side, we're gonna give him a little patch here and another little patch and they don't have to be exact because the patterns don't always match. And then around the circle, we go up and we go back down and this is kind of that dolphin nose. So they, they don't have a long dolphin nose. They have a short snout, but it still goes up like that. And I think I'm gonna curve that line a little bit. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna clean it up. My messy sketching. So on this circle, we're gonna bring that circle back. Sorry, I got a little messy there lost my lines so this line here goes around but it's going to curve down a little bit more in here so he's just a little off center we just catch a little side of his body on this side because he's starting to turn and on the side here he's got his fin and then on this side he'll have his fin and proportion wise you can play with the fins so that they're not too small and not too big. So that's really just a, there's really, I guess maybe maybe the width of his face you could use as an idea of how big his fins should be. I think I've run out of paper here. So I'm gonna pull it off. This is the, this is the back end of him now. So this is his tail coming out, the back end of his body. Cause he's facing us. We only get to see the back end of his tail. And I'm gonna just draw on this because I've run out of paper, but I did wanna show you how his tail comes out. So sorry about that. So his tail will kinda of come out to a, a point here. And then you just capture a little bit of the back end of the tail. Does that make sense? And then of course he gets his dorsal fin. And we're gonna color in, I'm gonna switch to the 3B so it's a little bit faster color in the, where the black would be. Because I find they look kind of funny until they're, they've got that signature color black and white shape in them. And then you're like, oh yeah, okay, now I see what it is. 
So I'm just gonna color down the side a little bit on this one. Because like I said, we'll capture just a little bit of that body. I'll pull out his fin here. So this fin I find just a little bit too long. I'm gonna shave that back. And pull this in. And we're just playing along. And I think we will use the white again. So I'm gonna pop this front snout where his mouth would open. Color this in. So again, I'm not worried too much about contour lines, just scribbling. And you see how fast he comes together when you practice I mean, I even practiced, right? I did those sheets. I want to make sure that I can capture the form and it might have taken me a few tries myself to make sure that I got got him right. It's not every day you see a killer whale, so it takes, might take a little practice to capture the shape properly. And I think actually I'm going to erase the top of his head. I feel it's a little bit round. I want to square it off a little more. And then replace the dorsal fin. So that's how fun it is to make adjustments that quick. Go back with my black. What I would recommend is coloring in the segment individually. So instead of doing the dorsal fin all the way down and filling in his forehead like that, I would just fill in that shape fill in the back shape. Again, I'm sorry, there's the rest of his tail. My paper was too small. And I'm gonna fill in this shape. And then fill in this shape. And then fill in the shape. And he's he's cute, right? He's kind of just coming toward you, smiling away. We've got these charming little faces in the front. But I think I'd uh, still be in the water with sharks before I got in the water with one of these guys. <laughs> as cute as they are. They're not called killer whales for no reason at all. All right, so you can go back to um, putting a little shading in just under this little snout here. I like to indicate that there's an indentation there and there's a little shading just underneath his belly here. I think actually this would be black right in here a part of this pattern wrapping around. There we go. So if he had his tail, the rest of his tail, it would look like that. So I thought, yeah, he's kind of cute. And then you can stick him on a piece of paper. We'll ink him up. Let's ink him up. You can write something cute, like you can do little bubbles. You can do that if you want. Let's just ink this and put it together. I hope you're all having fun doing your journaling and enjoying uh, uh, these sketches. I hope that you inspires you to give it a go and incorporate some of your own personal work into your journals. It's a nice little mixture between using something that you've printed or bought in a store to something that you've created yourself. And what's really good about these cookie sketches is you can photocopy them and elaborate them on even more. So say if you wanted to add blue or something and you're too nervous to ruin a drawing that you really like, just photocopy it and then play with it. And that way you keep your original. And, uh, but you can manipulate it further. You can blow it up, you can shrink it down. So I'm just using my three-in-one glue here. Put this guy in. 
and uh, some old paper. This is a green file folder. I really like the look of those against the coffee dyed paper. So I use that a lot. Just miss the corner here. And then I think I'll put some of these little brads. So I'm gonna use my hole punch. And just pop. So I make this into a little book. So it's a little pull out folder that I can put in my junk journal for sketching or taking notes, whatever, whatever you want to use it for. A gift. Like how cute would this be? You fill it with paper and put a little raffia around it. And you know, it's a Christmas present with your own personal sketch in it. That's awesome. Who wouldn't love to get one of those? I'll open these. So these little brads you just stick in the hole punch tool and, uh, oops, like that. And then you flip it over and you just open them up. I'll do a couple more. Sorry, trying to stay in frame. I'm trying not to cast a shadow. I've got to get a better light source. I've got to upgrade my YouTube my YouTube channel to uh, a little bit more professional. <laughs> there we go. And you can write Orca in here. Now, my, I've been trying to practice my handwriting because I hate my handwriting. We're always hard on ourselves about something, right? For me, it's my handwriting. So I'm just going to do it in pencil real quick. And then I will finish it off in pen. And then maybe thicken, thicken some of these. So I hope you like, uh, like I said, give it a try. I hope you like these quickie sketches. I hope they give you an idea of how to capture some form and how to practice. And most of all, relaxing to uh, take the pressure off yourself and just have fun with it. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece every time. You'll find as you as you follow along, things will improve for you. Or maybe you are good at drawing and really enjoy drawing. And this just gives you some ideas on what to do with your drawings. There we go. And I think I will just erase the pencil line. So I've got another video coming up. Um, I just in the middle of filming it. I've just done some, oops, some sketching. And it is a uh, daylily with pencil crayon. So if you like my videos and you're interested in that, uh, this is a little picture of it here on what I'll be uh, hopefully filming next. So we're using pencil crayon and the same loose sketch. But uh, if you do like that and you, you'd like to see that video hit the notification bell and please subscribe and hit the like button and please 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 comment on anything you would like to see drawn because i'm always looking for ideas of what everybody likes to uh draw and work on in their journals and drop in the comments some themes that you've got going in journaling um i'd love to hear from you so that is today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gives you some ideas and you can uh, follow along. Just gonna put these back together and uh, keep practicing and having fun guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, bye.